Ray Seven, David Nielsen Maiden. I think he might be my brother, you know. I'm not sure. You reckon? I think so, yeah. All right. Long lost. I didn't know that. <laughs> anyway, it's two and a half mile maiden hurdle this one. Top one's gone in for the castle. Well, that's a little Dan Bing of Pontypool Racing, Highland Fort, Jim Murray, traditionalist Paul Rhodes, Von Tripps, James Follis, Banana Split, Kevin Meenhan, Black Ben A. Molly, at Surfer, DiMargo, Tam King, Denza Peel, Obi Wan, Mighty Danny, Alex Cherry, Not Harmful, Carla Agante, Rio Naranja, and Darren Thompson, Shades of Pain, Leon Van Rensburg, and Welsh Typhoon, Daniel French, they're off and racing, and away they go. Now towards the first flight of hurdles in this David Nicholson maiden hurdle. May or may not be my brother-in-law. We never know. It's my brother. <laughs> we race down towards the next. The next, the first. Anyway. <laughs> Von Trips on the outside is the leader. Not harmful is in second. And oh, I don't know what's going on there. We got all sorts of shenanigans going on. Look like bits of big leaf in the way of the screen. But everybody's still oh, here. We go. Yes, there we go. Psychedelic stuff. We move. Oh, look at all them trees in front of them houses. Oh, look nice. I noticed that before. We are we on a new track or we're on a new um, angle, but I've not seen all these autumnal trees. And the New York City skyline in the background. It's all a bit bizarre. But anyway, <laughs> Von Trips in the lead. And in second is not harmful. Dan Bigger is third. Then Welsh Typhoon, Highland Fort, Mighty Dan is after that one. Black Benny and DiMargo. As they skip over number three. With Banana Split, just the back marker. We've already had Mary Mungo and Mitch today. Now we've got the Banana Splits. It's like a 1970s kid Saturday morning all over again. Skip over number four. And Von Trips is a leader. Not harmful is second. Then Welsh Typhoon and DiMargo. Mighty Danny and Black Bene and Dan Bigger. Rio Naranja is after that one. That's the one in the white sleeves. And going towards the back of the field. Banana Split and Dens Appeal are the back two. The grey shades of pain and the purple. Ooh, we've all gone frozen there for a minute. I don't know what happened then. Water in the works or something, and they skip over that road past the winning post with the circuit to go. There's nobody watching this race at all, and obviously, all in those casinos over in the background, and those big tower blocks, wherever this is supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be somewhere like Hereford. I've been to I'm Hereford, sure. and doesn't Hereford doesn't look like that? I'm, I can tell you, it doesn't look anything like that at all. You see the odd bloke walking down Hereford High Street with a cow or a bull or something, but you don't see many tower blocks. May not be here if I may just be talking nonsense, but I've had a couple of glasses of wine, I've had a good day, so there you go. And I don't know what's happening really because it's like we don't know where we are today. All those commentators, because the race is coming in sporadically, we don't know what day it was it is or when we're doing it, and we just see what happens. So anyway, they've jumped that one, they're going past the car park and past the New York skyline and making their way towards wherever they're going. They've got seven and a half furlongs still to go. Von Trips is in front from DiMargo in second. Then Traditionalist and Dan Bigger and Rio Naranja. Not harmfuls after that one. Looking towards the back of the field. Banana split. It's still the back marker and has split absolutely nothing so far. As they skip over number eight. And that one they go. And Dan Bigger is now taking the lead. Dan Bigger's in front, got Grace in the front then, first and second. Dan Bigger from DiMargo, then Traditionalist, with Von Trips, and then Rio Naranja is after that one. As they now make their way into the final four furlongs. Probably got three flights to go now. Jim Morris Horse Highland Fort is getting a little bit closer. And now coming through to take the lead, so it's Highland Fort there as he skips over the third last and he's suddenly been swamped by Grays and it's Shades of Pain, Highland Fort and DiMargo. Traditionalist is after that one as they now make their way towards the second last flight and it's Dan Bigger in front. Over the second last they go. Dan Bigger's in the lead. Dan Bigger's in front from, <laughs> from Shades of Pain in second then Highland Fort trying to run his Traditionalist. Rio Naranja's after that one. They've only got another furlong and a half to go and it's Dan Bigger in the lead. 
form in second place. Shades of pain. Then comes Highland Fort. Then Tradition is in Rio. Naranja de Morgans. I thought Black Ben is trying to run over the final flight. And they go. And it's Dan Bigger. Shades of pain. Dan Bigger's a good length. Oh, they're going to get to this Dan Bigger up towards the line. Dan Bigger's going to take it from Shades of pain. Tradition is Highland Fort. Was after that one. De Margo was next. And Roach Typhoon was pulled up somewhere in the country. But it's a win for Graham Clutterbuck. Dan Bigger, Shades of Pain, second traditionalist, third for Paul Rhodes. Jim Murray was fourth, with whatever his horse was called. I'll <laughs> tell you what it was in a minute, I've forgotten. And he'll come up in a second. There you go, Dan Bigger wins it for Pontypool Racing, which we all know is Grand Clutterbuck. Shades of Pain, Leon Van Rensburg, second. Traditionalist Paul Rhodes was third. Highland Fort, Jim Murray, fourth. And Rio Naranja for Darren Thompson was fifth. And that'll do for me today. See you all next time.